that team or all, I mean, on, in the robotics team as a whole, we're all definitely part of one big family. And then each sub team, <coughs> like the fab team, the design team, all, all those teams are all kind of mini families, you know, we all have like people who do different things and they all kind of work, work together as our own little machine almost, you know, making things. We, uh, we are the production center of the robotics team. Uh, yeah. So the first part, uh, allocating a part, comes from the design team. They design the robot and they know all the little pieces that come and are part of the robot. And so they take a piece, they make a drawing with it, they make all these little measurements and describe the part for us. And they send this drawing to the fab team. And one of our members takes it, looks at it, uh, finds some, st some stock for that part and then measure that part and basically just makes it you, you, using the machines we have in the shop. All the machines we have in the shop are used to remove material. And we have two kind of basic dis distinctions I'd, I'd make. We have our uh, cutting devices, like the, like the vertical bandsaw, like the uh, chop saw, um, and then we have mills. That's like the manual mill the CNC mill, and I consider the lathe to be also a mill. And the difference is that saws cut a line in the middle, and mills are used to remove a large amount of metal from one side, or in the case of a lathe, they're used to remove material from the outside of a circle. Look at this caliper, I got it to 0.5 perfect. Oh. Oh my god, come on! Such a god. You do the impossible! Let's go ahead and keep the pain apart! Can you see a secret guy? This is what Morgan's about to do for the next couple hours. It's called organization. It's very nice. So, uh, this is our shop. Um, we make a lot of our stuff here. We do a lot of our key fabrication. Uh, a lot of our stuff, uh, we're cutting from aluminum. Uh, and so, we have our six week build season. Usually about week three, start like a lot of the intensive, intensive fabrication. You know, we begin actually week two of just fabricating prototypes, but that's usually on an individual basis. Um, but yeah, week three we start to pick up a lot. We have a lot of orders going through, uh, and it's usually a mad rush to get things out to people, to the designers. Uh, the designers usually, you know, submit requests. We have, I've actually built up a system where designers submit requests. Uh, we take them in, sort them out on priority. You know, uh, the quantity of the part. Uh, if we have the stock available, so it all depends. So, unfortunately, there's a lot of sorting of you know, drill indexes, uh, stock, but uh, I tried to keep our um, fabricators busy. You know, um, you know, recently we're working on a part for the robot um, that's needed for electronics board. Uh, just needed a few slots cut in it. Um, and, you know, those things are more trial and error just because, you know, we get the bot back and we have to you know, tweak it. Um, we also have VEX going on, so you know, some of our VEX kids will come in, cut stuff on our horizontal band saw, uh, or use our belt sander to, you know, grind stuff down. But it's usually pretty slow. A lot of the fabricators aren't really needed. They're mainly needed during build season, uh, which is where a lot of the intensive work happens. Yeah, 
breathe. Do you remember? No, I don't. Ooh. Oh my eyes. I don't think we're roasting anybody. I think we're just coming up with new ones. I got this fast house. Yeah. Yeah. You sister, I missed So I am the shop manager on the fabrication team. So essentially what I do is maintain the shop, make sure everything's running smoothly. Although it doesn't. <laughs> and I basically maintain the safety and the efficiency of what goes on. So I'll make sure everything is set up correctly each day. I make sure everyone's doing what they're doing and they're on task so there's no danger and I make sure there's the right procedures going on so everyone can effectively do what they're supposed to do.